Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews and on this episode we're going to be looking at the brand new entry line ball from Radical Bowling Technologies, the Grape Solid Rack Attack. Entry line? Radical? Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. Now as we said, we're looking at the brand new Radical Bowling Technologies Rack Attack Grape Solid. Now one thing we've always really liked about Radical is they never just release a ball. It always serves a purpose in their line. And, well, they've done it again with the Grape Solid. This ball fits right into the medium dry to dry lane equipment with a low differential so it's very smooth and great for guys who well either have no hand or very little bit of hand or for guys like me who have way too much yeah it's wrapped in a solid cover stock with the inverted light bulb core which is similar to the 90s uh, rhinos yeah and you know as we said it is a low differential ball which makes it very smooth off the break point so for those bowlers who well, have to deal with dry lanes or low volume lanes, or those who are just getting into it, they can get quality performance without having to spend a lot of money. But rather than listen to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. Alright, so here we have Wayne Porter, our low speed, low rev player. Uh, he's bowling on the Kegel Main Street oil pattern. Uh, now, uh, what we've done with this video is we've kind of separated it. Uh, we've put two bowlers on fresh oil and two bo bowlers on dry lanes yeah. to kind of show off this equipment. Wayne here is throwing on fresh oil. Yeah. Um, and the rack attack, great rack attack, great solid. You can see how well it does in a player's hands who has a little bit less revs. Yeah, like we talked about at the start, this ball really is designed for low rev players and high rev players. And Wayne's a low rev player, and uh, he's getting into work, man. Yeah, well, not everybody can be Ronnie Russell, right? No, exactly. It's uh, just a great motion, very smooth. Yeah. Great pop. Yeah, now these, these rack attacks are a uh, inverted light bulb core, and it's a low yeah. differential, which means they're very smooth off the yeah. break point. Yeah, and uh, like we talked about in the intro, that proven core. Like this is, this was Brunswick's bread and butter core in the 90s oh, when yeah. they were like dominating everything. And then, you know. You know, revived with a new cover stock, oh, yeah. and it's killer. Yeah, exactly. Now here is Scoops. We put him on the broken down lanes. He's had about eight games on them. Yeah. Uh, and you can see he's moved in quite deep. Yeah, this I had to move in and keep this ball in as much oil as I could find. Um, not swinging it too far outside 10, as you see, because that's really, if you look at the pattern, that's the oil line. It's right around 10. Um, when I got it there, oh, it blows the rack apart. So much pin action. Yeah, one of the, one of the things we noticed, and Tom Hess had actually said this, uh, that these balls Ooh. keep the pins very low on the deck. Yes. Um, sometimes when you when you uh, get bowling and you start leaving a lot of ten pins, you'll see the six blow over the the ten or yeah. the the four blow over the seven, and you can yeah. see the pins stay very, very low. low base yeah. to base. Yeah, and which is going to give you more spots to hit because the pins wider at the bottom. So yeah, that's it, what you exactly want. I mean, more whoa. hit is more carry. That was a little bit inside there, but you can wow. see one of the nice things is, is it rolls very heavy. Yeah. And it, it's, yeah, it doesn't pop off the end or anything. It's very smooth. Now, here's John Fallis, our guest bowler. Um, now, we brought him in because he has a little bit of a different tilt. You see that messenger yeah. there? Oh, yeah. He has a little bit different tilt, a little bit of different rotation than uh, we've had in the past. But we want to yeah. show this off because this is a style that we've actually seen a lot of lately. Yeah. Um, and he loved these balls because they allowed him oh, to play his bread and butter shot. That and was a good shot. Yeah, you, yeah. You can, it's one yeah. of the things you can see how, how heavy that ball rolled yeah. as it rolled past the nine there. Yeah. You see, he made a little bit of adjustment there to carry it mm, up and right. boom. Yeah. 
Now, John, one of the nice things uh, with having John test with us is he is actually telling us as he was going okay. what changes he yeah. was making. Yeah. Um, and yeah, with the grape there, he had made uh, a two and two left mm -hmm. from that uh, uh, that nine, nine pin. pin. Yeah. And you can see how much he's carrying there. Yeah. It's just these balls are perfect for guys like him and myself. Yeah. Where we have to control the lanes when they get broken down to continue to score. Yeah. With the big hand, it's hard sometimes to to keep it in. And if you're in a big block, you don't want to be necessarily just throwing the ball harder to, to compensate for the difference because yeah. you're going to get tired fast. Now, here I am playing it on the fresh. And wow. once again, you can see there, even though I had messengers, yeah. the pins are still hitting base to base. Yeah. Um, I really, I really like this ball. I wish I'd had this at the World Series. Um, because when I got stuck in the blocks where you had to play the middles in the breakdown and things were, were getting very squirrely, very up and down, yeah. um, this ball would have been amazing to play in the in the center of the oh, lane. Oh, for sure. I mean, you can see there, I can just, I can hit it hard and all that energy is down lane yeah. for me. It's not losing anything or it's just beautiful. It just carries down. Doesn't jump, very yeah. smooth. You can see I, I've played wow. it inside. I played yeah, that one outside. outside. And yeah. it laid up nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah. This core is money. Uh, it, it, it has it's been money for, for a long time. Yeah, it's just so you can see. smooth. It's, it doesn't overreact. It's just consistent over and over again. And it's not hooking across yeah. the pin deck. Yeah. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another episode. If you like what you saw this show and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews. You can also follow us on Twitter at Laneside Reviews and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to find us online at www.lanesidereviews.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Laneside. This program sponsored by Turbo Driven to Bowl for all the quad two inserts and switch grip interchangeable thumbs we use in all of our equipment. Dexter Bowling Shoes, the world's most advanced shoe, the SST8. Bowlerama Berry, for all the lanes we bowl on. For birthday parties and corporate events, call now. Still searching for that perfect fit? With no residue and easy removal, Real Bowler's Tape really is the Real Bowler's Choice. And Plantronics, rig, stereo headset and mixer. For streaming, gaming, and more, play more, pause less.